These are muscles of the chest and abdominal group. Let's begin at the anterior chest, or most superficial part of the chest. This large muscle is the pectoralis major muscle. Think of a pectoral fin coming off of a fish. Then we have the underneath that muscle is the pectoralis minor muscle. Now there are some muscles we see deep here and between the ribs these are called intercostal muscles. Costal for ribs, so muscles between the ribs. And if you want to know which ones are which, actually the easiest thing to do is to look at the abdomen. And on the outside of the abdomen we have abdominal obliques. And we notice that these muscles run down and forward, down and forward, down and forward. So if we find between the ribs fascial sill lines that run down and forward, we know then that these muscles are the external intercostal muscles. External obliques and external intercostal muscles. On the deep side, we have muscles that run obliquely down and out. So these are the internal oblique muscles of the abdomen. Conversely, if we look at the intercostals and we see muscles that run down and out, we're looking at the fascia sill lines again, we know then that those are internal intercostal muscles. Finally, there's a large muscle running straight up and down the front of the abdomen here. This is the rectus abdominis muscle. Remember, rectus means straight, so we see that muscle running straight up and down. There's a large apneurosis that covers the abdomen. We also see one in the low back and cranium. Uh, and remember, an apneurosis is a tendinous sheath that's going to hold muscles together.